Okay, so the new 2021 Tesla Model S has a bigger screen, but how much... Hold on. Hello. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, so my dad just dropped off a package. He helps out with scent wedge and he actually does most of the production for me. So he just dropped off a fresh batch. More on that another day. But what I was saying is, I wanna see how much bigger the new 2021 Model S screen is in comparison to my Model 3. I also wanna play around with the airflow and this ventilation system and try and visually see how air moves. Okay, so this, this is more or less the size of the Tesla Model S screen. Um, I, I'm, I'm guessing as best as I can based on the specs that are on the website and the fact that it's a 17 inch screen and that screens are measured diagonally to the best of my knowledge. I made this and I incorporated a half inch bezel around the whole thing so this this should this should be roughly the size of the Tesla Model S 2021 screen. Um, it's not quite a 16 by 9 ratio, but I'm sure it's intentional because it leaves a little bit of room at the bottom to have like a menu or have have icons uh, ready to access. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go take this on my Model 3 and kind of see how much bigger it is in real life. It's like about half inch bigger on both sides. Um, height is relatively the same. I just, I, I'm not sure if this is correct. I literally just went off of what was on their website and scaled it down so that diagonally it's 17 inches. Let me know if this is right. It might, it might not be. I don't know if this is 100% accurate, but maybe, but it's actually kind of cool to see it uh, in reality and, and see how it compares to the screen that we already have on the Model 3 and Model Y. Um, I think it would be cool to also just see how the air vents work and how the flow works. So what I want to do is I want to cut up some yarn and create some type of device that holds the yarn in place and maybe we could see it fly in the wind. I, I don't know how it's going to turn out. It might not work, but it, it could be fun. Let's see how this thing works.
Okay, uh, that was way cooler than I anticipated. Seeing the air move in response to the air animation on the screen was like really cool. I mean, I, I don't know if I captured it well on the camera, but even when I did the split on the screen, like you could see the individual pieces of yarn moving. That's something that I've been wanting to do for a while and today was the right day to do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think the screen size was correct. I'm, I'm still not sure, but it seems good. It's not too big and it's not too small and it's definitely an upgrade. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna go do some push-ups, and I'll see you tomorrow.